wherever God is, he's there with you, right? So even though we're not together in person, it's all right, guys, because he is still going to do an amazing work for us tonight. Amen. So guys, again, we're virtual, meaning we're going to be virtual back on our Sunday services. So we'll still be together 9 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. And since we are back virtual, that means our New Year's Eve revival services will be back virtual as well. As you know, we partner with the incredible Greater Mount Calvary Holy Church. So join us this Wednesday through Friday for a dynamic word, incredible worship for our joint New Year's revival service. And then you want to come back that Saturday morning at 10 o'clock for our annual leadership training with the one and the only, the incomparable Bishop T.D. Jakes. So remember, revival starts Wednesday through Friday, and then leadership training is on Saturday. So guys, it's been an amazing year, right? It's been a different year. It's been a year of highs and lows, but God has been so faithful to us. Drop in the chat and tell us just one or two things that God has done for you this year. Because here's the thing, guys, because you're here, he brought you through this year. We made it, guys. We are here. There's so many people who can't say that they made it, guys, but we made it another year. So tell us something that you're grateful for. Share with us something that you're excited that God brought you through, whether it's anxiety or fear or health or your finances. Just share with us some incredible things that God has done for you. So family, let's go ahead. Let's kick it off for what is going to be a dynamic night. We are so incredibly excited. We cannot wait to kick off what is going to be an incredible service. We love you. We are so happy that you're here kicking it with us tonight. So let's go ahead and start this year off right with some praise and worship. Is that all right? So we'll see you right back here after service. We love you. We are so grateful for you. We pray that God would continue to keep and cover you. Happy New Year to you. Loss, frustration, darkness, ups and downs. I often ask myself, where's God in all of this? Well, I'm glad that I asked the question. Suffering has brought us a new meaning as believers. It's time to talk our talk and walk our walk. So go ahead, count your scars and your wounds. But while you're at it, Count your blessings too. Because every scar and every wound is a reminder of the wars that he has won for you. God has done many things, can't you see? Now look into my eyes and tell me what you can't see. Stress, anxiety, depression. Why? Because I have no reason to. No, I refuse. I refuse to go into another year bound by something that has no power over me. He brought us giants to slay, only if we take a shot. So in 2022, I'm taking every shot that I got. So let's put it in the atmosphere. Let's put it in the air, huh? New endeavors and opportunities, shots fired. Healthy families, healthy marriages, shots fired. I'm smashing fear and doubt, shots fired. I'm yelling, Timber! I <laughs> Look out below, because everywhere around you, giants are falling down. It's time we change our focus. Our past is now just a reference. We're moving straight ahead. Now I'm not telling you tomorrow won't hold fear, pain, hurt, frustration, battles, or sickness. But tonight, we celebrate. Tonight, we sing. Tonight we cry tears of joy. Tonight we raise our hands in worship because we remember what matters the most. That our God is still our comforter, our deliverer, our King of kings, our Lord of lords. He's our healer. He is our protector. He is our father. He's still our God. He's still good. And he's still doing a new thing. I see you. Now you got it. There you go. So go ahead. Praise them where you are. Praise them in your bedroom. 
Praise him in your living room. Praise him in your kitchen. Praise him in your bathroom. Praise him in your basement. Praise him in your car. Praise him wherever you are. He brought us through 2021. Watch what he's going to do.
his praises. His praises so continually. And we are blessed. Single man, what I see. What I see. Your how I feel. So long as I'm breathing. As long as I'm breathing. Oh, yes, I'm breathing. I bless the Lord. Oh, yes, I'm breathing. I bless the Lord. Oh, man. Oh! 
life you have been faithful and we're grateful all my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God oh Lord I will sing of the goodness of God hallelujah I will sing of the goodness of God you're a faithful God you're a mighty God I will sing of the goodness of God there's nobody like you in all the earth and I will I will yes I will goodness of God lift your voice to Jesus and sing oh, I, I will, will sing of the goodness of the goodness of the goodness of God. we give you praise God we give you glory God oh, of the goodness, of the goodness of God. hallelujah to Jesus just one more time I will, oh, I will everybody sing of, of the goodness of God, God. give God praise. He is worthy to be praised. We bless the Lord at all times for his mercy endures forever. And if you just look back over your life and think of all the things that God has done for you, truly in this year of 2021, we can truly say what a year this has been. How many of you can look back over this past year from January to December and you can truly say that the Lord has been good to you. It was no goodness of our own, but it was because of his goodness. It was because of his mercy. It was because of his grace and his favor. And so we're here tonight to count our blessings and to count them one by one, to count our blessings and see what God has done. How many of you can say, as you look back over this past year, that God has been a healer to you? How many of you can say that God has been a deliverer to you? How many of you can say that God has been a way maker for you? How many of you can say that the Lord has been your provider? How many of you can say that the Lord has opened doors for you? Why? Because he's God and he alone is God and he is worthy to be praised. So right now, wherever you are, we want you to give God what is due him and that is to give God praise. So would you just lift your hands and lift your voices and just give God thanks and give him praise. His praise is already in this place. His, his praise is all over the atmosphere. His praise is there. His presence is here. And we're here to offer him praise and thanks. Good evening. My name is Pastor Dwayne Dickens. I'm honored to serve tonight as presider of this, our New Year's Eve service. Give the Lord another hand. Isn't he worthy to be praised? He is truly worthy to be praised. And we bless the Lord even on tonight for his goodness, for his mercy, and for his grace. I'd like to call to your attention, we're going to read the word of God tonight. That has been our staple for keeping us during these trying times of this COVID-19 and its various variants. But one thing has not changed and that will never change and that is the word of God will never change, amen? So I wanna to call to your attention Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, Isaiah chapter 43, beginning at verse 18, we'll commence at verse number 21 where we find these words. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, so you shall not know it. I will even make a road in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert, and the beasts of the field will honor me, and the jackals and the ostriches, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people I have formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. 
The word of the Lord is already blessed. Let the, let the people of God say amen. Let us look to the Lord even now in prayer. Let us pray. Lord, you have been good. You have been better than good. Songwriter says we can't thank you enough for all that you have done. You've opened doors. You've blessed. You have provided. You've been a bridge over troubled waters. You have strengthened us. You have kept us. Lord God, you have seen us through danger seen and unseen. Those times of mourning over this past year, we thank you that you have been the God of all comfort. Those times of trials and tribulations, you have been our hope and our help. Those times, Lord God, when we didn't know what to do, when we may have been perplexed, you have provided a way, you have made a way, you have been our shepherd. And you have led us, and you have guided us, and you have protected us, and you have kept us. And for this, we give you thanks, and Lord, we give you praise. And so tonight, collectively, we come tonight, Lord, from wherever we are, to thank you for all that you've done. We come to thank you for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do. Tonight, as we come together, as we gather together in various places, Lord, we thank you that as we gather as your people, we ask that you would have your way and speak to our hearts. We thank you for the word of God that will go forth tonight from our pastor. We ask God that you will use him mightily. Thank you for every part of this service, God. We thank you and we bless you and we consider ourselves blessed and an honor to be in your presence even on tonight. Have your way. Give strength, Lord God. Give salvation. Give deliverance. Give hope. Give peace, we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the people of God say amen. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. It's now time to welcome our guests. Amen. Wherever you are joining us from, we ask you to, amen, click on the button at the bottom of your screen. Amen. And invite, if you're on social media, we invite you to ask your family, your friends, and others that may be huddled around you to do the same, and invite others to join us in this service here at the First Baptist Church of Glenarden International. We welcome you once, twice, and three times. The motto of our church is, in our vision and mission statement, we're developing dynamic disciples through discipleship, discipline, and duplication. We want to thank you for joining us on tonight. We want to thank you for worshiping the Lord with us on tonight. We love you and we thank God for you. We're honored, so honored to have you with us tonight. In Jesus' name we pray and we give God thanks. Let the people of God say amen and amen and amen. Once again, I'm going to ask you to follow us on Instagram and on YouTube and as well as on Facebook, the First Baptist Church of Glen Arden. Amen and amen. It's now time for our tithes and offerings. Now, I know this, and you know this, many of us know this, that God is good. How many say amen? God is a provider. God has provided so much for us and for his people, for the community. He has blessed the First Baptist Church of Green Island. We want to thank you for being such generous givers. If you look on the bottom of your screen, on your screen there is, amen, a link where you can click on that link or you can go to the First Baptist Church of Glen Arden, fpcglenarden.org forward slash give, and everybody can participate in giving. I know this for a fact that we're here at the First Baptist Church of Glen Arden, God has blessed us to be able to provide to the temporal, emotional, mental, and spiritual needs of our church, our community, and the world. And that is made possible through your giving. You have helped us to be a blessing and to be blessed, and we are so thankful. So at this time, we will bow our heads and our hearts, and let's look to the Lord and thank the Lord for this opportunity we have to give. Amen. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father, we thank you. We bless you, and we honor you. We ask, Lord God, that you are blessed. These tithes and offerings on tonight, thank you for every giver tonight. We thank you for every gift. We thank you, Lord God, that at any time anyone can give in support of the ministry of the First Baptist Church of Glen Arden. We thank you for good soil in which you have given us to give. We thank you, Lord God, for the lives that are touched and the lives that have been touched and for the lives that will be touched. So we bless you even now 
and ask you, Lord God, to have your way. It is in Jesus' mighty and master's name we do pray, and let the people of God say amen and amen. Amen. We're going to receive the offering, amen, and the next voice that you're going to hear, amen, you will hear that, amen, just very shortly. So God bless you, and thank you so much in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Bible says, Jeremiah 29, 11, the scripture says, I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Thoughts of good and not of evil will give you a future and an expected. No matter what you've gone through this year, the Lord has a plan for you. And you need to know that as you go into 2022, the Lord has a plan for you. He has a purpose for you. He has called it destiny. Every tear you cry, it's purposeful. Every mistake you make, it's purposeful. What's the plan that you have for me? The place you've called me to be. Some people call it destiny. Will you let me know? What's the plight that you've called me to? The thing I'm set aside to do I trust you, Lord, to see me through Will you let me look in your heart? Lord, hear my plea and reveal to me the mysteries and the plans you have for me. This prayer from me is that you make known to me the mysteries. Yes, God and the plans you have for me destiny because i know the lord makes no mistakes and because i know he makes no mistakes as it pertains to our life wherever you are whatever your situation is i want you to grab this praise and let it take you into next year just say thank you For showing me, for showing me, hallelujah, for directing me, directing me, we give you praise for my destiny, my destiny, it's an easy declaration, tell the Lord thank you, thank you, glory to your name, for showing me, for showing me, we're mighty grateful tonight, for directing me, directing me, Glory to your name, to my destiny. To my destiny. I know what I'm here I for. Tell the Lord thank, thank you. Yes, sir. For showing me. For showing me. For every tear I had to cry. Directing me. Every sleepless night I had to go. To my destiny. I know what I'm here I for. Know what I'm here thank for. you, Lord thank Jesus. You. I give you praise. I give you glory, God. For showing, for showing me. me, there's nobody like you, God, for directing, directing me. me. I'm mighty grateful to my destiny. To my destiny. I know. I know what I'm here for. Father, we give you praise today for purpose, for, for the assignment me. of God. We give you praise today. There are no mistakes in the kingdom, and we celebrate your name, Jesus, to my destiny. To my what I'm here I for. I'm here Thank for. you, Jesus. Thank you. We give you glory, God, for showing me. For showing Come in, Larry. Glory to Jesus.
Jesus. Thank you. With tears in our eyes, we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We may have positive test results, but thank you. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know what I'm here for. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, for showing me. I'm mighty grateful, God, for directing me. But we know that the name of the Lord is. We know that the name of the Lord is. We know that the name of the Lord is. We know that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Hey, thank you, Jesus. A strong tower. We give you praise, God. A strong tower. Hallelujah to your name. I know what I'm here for. Father, we trust you today. We give you praise in the valley of our circumstances. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you for thinking of us. Thank you for directing us. Thank you for using your hand over our life, gracing us with your glory. We give you praise. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Can you just say it before? The word of the Lord comes. I know what I'm here for, everybody. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus, we give you praise. Wonderful Jesus, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Give the Lord a shout of praise right there, real quick. Praise the Lord. Thank uh, Reverend Stephen Hurd and our praise and worship team for reminding us that we have a destiny. And you, it's important for you to know that. You have a destiny. The enemy wants you to think otherwise, but God has created you with a purpose in mind, and that's great news. That's wonderful news. Thank you for joining us. Wherever you are in the world, Amen. we want to thank God that God is bringing us to the conclusion of 2000. 21 and getting you ready to launch you into 2022. That's great news. I want you to, you need to get that news. That's great news. I don't know what your 21 has been like. It's probably been drama for many of you. It's probably been hell. I guess I can say hell. It's probably been difficult, but I got great news. We're still here. We're still here in the land of the living. We are alive. Many didn't make it. Many didn't survive. But God has been merciful and gracious to us and spared our lives for such a time as this. I'm so grateful for you joining us today and I'm grateful to have, we have a special guest tonight with us that I'm so excited to have with us this evening. Uh, this night, uh, I call him my nephew sometimes. I call him my nephew. He's, he's uh, really... Uh, tremendous man of God. He was a pastor, retired from pastoring, but he's a gospel artist. Used to be in Chicago, now hailing from Los Angeles, California. You've, I, we have sung his songs till we have squeezed all the juice out of it. Uh, but I'm grateful to have Charles Jenkins here yeah. with us here tonight. So won't y'all welcome <laughs> Charles Jenkins. Come on, bro. I'm so grateful to have you here today. Tonight, thank you for uh, coming and just ministering to us for a few moments. God bless you, buddy. Y'all say amen. Welcome him yeah. here tonight. First Baptist, Happy New Year. Woo! Listen, I, I want to get out of the way. I want to give time, Doc, to minister the, the word of God. Thank you so much, Pastor John K. Jenkins. Come on, make noise wherever you are. Lady Trina, we love them so much. They are the original Jenkinses. <laughs> and we are honored to be here tonight with the First Baptist family. I know pastor's got an amazing word. And so I I'm just, is it okay if I just sing one song and get out the way so you can stretch out and take my time? I'm good. All right. Well, 
He's been good. Has he been good to you, First Baptist? Wherever you are all around the world, come on, let's get it in. It's a celebration. Put them together, come on. Has he been good to you? Come on. Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? You say, can I get a witness? Come on. Can I hear from you? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? Can I hear from you? Can I get a witness? 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 Can I hear from you? Can I hear from you? He's been good. He's been good. Clap your hands. He's been good. He's been good. Clap your hands. He's been good. He's been
is awesome. He can move mountains, keep you in a valley, hide you from the rain. If you got a testimony, wherever you are, I want you to sing it to the top of your lawn. Right here, you said, my God. of Jesus awesome. and all that he's done for me. Awesome. 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 Somebody ought to lift your voice and say, mighty. He's 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 mighty. Awesome. awesome. Anybody got a testimony you say? Awesome. Somebody lift your voice and say, deliver. 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 blessing, such a blessing to have you, and I'm so grateful for you stopping by. Thank you so much. Amen. You've blessed us over the years. Amen. Thank the Lord. Father, thank you for your loving kindness and tender mercies to us. You're a great God. You're an awesome God. I'm so thankful for your loving kindness and the multitude of your mercies. Thank you, Father, for the people of God and the patience that you have exhibited toward us, that you've loved us with a loving kindness. I'm so grateful. I'm so, we are so thankful, almighty God, for how gracious and wonderful and kind and incredible you've been to us. And so we come tonight giving you thanks for 2021 as we prepare to enter into 2022. We pray that you would anoint our time in your word today. Speak to us, almighty God, is my prayer. Allow your word and your truth to prevail. Allow it to speak to us today for these next few moments as we get ready for this next season of our lives. Let us be your mouthpiece and your conduit. In Jesus' name, give us clarity of thought and anoint us to be your mouthpiece. In Jesus' name. And everybody said amen and amen. So what I always like to do, I feel kind of naked here today. I ain't got no tie on, but Brother Charles got the bow ties on. All his people got the bow ties. I don't have no ties. All right. What I like to do generally every year on New Year's Eve is to launch us into what our theme is for, for the following year. And uh, I'm going to tell you what our theme is uh, for the coming year, our theme for 2020. 
two is that God is still doing a new thing. It's, 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 we, 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 we had for 2021 that God is doing a new thing. And for 2022, the, the word is God is still doing a new thing. Somebody say, he's still doing a new thing. Last year when we uh, talked to you today, uh, talked to you on New Year's Eve, we looked at uh, Isaiah chapter 43. And uh, we focused on uh, verse 19, uh, verse 18 and 19. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old, it says. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it. I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I love that passage right there. Let me read that to you again. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold. God says, I will do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it. I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So for, as a matter of fact, for several weeks uh, in January, we looked at, uh, we broke this passage up into several sections, and we talked about that God says, forget about the past, don't consider the things of old. He's going to do a new thing. And we spent one week talking about the roads in the wilderness. We talked about God paving out a road in the middle of nowhere, in the wilderness, out in the midst of nothing. God makes roads. And I saw God in 2021 create roads, and open up uh, directions, and gave us a sense of direction. But it also says uh, he will uh, get, give you rivers in the deserts. I, I love that right there. He'll say, I'm going to give, give you water to drink, wa waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. We spent time talking about God providing these things for us in the midst of our challenges, in the midst of our uh, troubles. And in fact, I saw God do that. I saw God do the spectacular in 2021. And that's why I'm still excited. Yes, 2021 was a tough time. It was a difficult season. But guess what? Even in the midst of all of that, God was still showing himself that he is an awesome God. I want to remind you what this passage is. I want to remind you about Isaiah the prophet who has been given the assignment. Listen and bear with me for just a few moments. I won't preach long, I promise you. I want to highlight and remind you today that Isaiah has been given the mantle and the anointing and the call upon his life to speak to the people of Judah. God's nation is divided at the season and time of Isaiah's day. They are a divided kingdom. Judah is over here by itself while the other 11 tribes are all together. Judah, the, the, the word Judah means praise. That, that nation, that, that's, that, that tribe were a people of praise. And they were off by themselves. And, and they were in a troubling moment in time and season because, listen to me carefully, they had watched their forefathers go through dramatic times in their lives. They had watched them get defeated and conquered by other nations. They had watched them be put in bondage. They had watched their country, their people, their communities destroyed. And Isaiah is raised up to speak and give a word to them during this difficult time. That's, that was his assignment, and that's what he's done. And so, so God speaks to him, and this is what, this is so unique. Just bear with me. I hope you can follow me for just a moment, because the book of Isaiah is 66 chapters. Just listen to me. I know it sounds like I'm crazy, but it's going to make sense in a moment. 66 chapters in the book of Isaiah. Guess what? The Bible has 66 chapters, 66 books, 66 books in the Bible, 39 in the Old Testament, and 27 in the New Testament. Likewise, in the book of Isaiah, 66 chapters, guess what? The uniqueness of Isaiah is it is divided and set up just like in the same way the Bible is divided. The first 39 chapters of Isaiah is God giving a warning to the people of God about their sin, warning them about their disobedience, warning them about judgment if they don't straighten up. The first 39 chapters of Isaiah. But when you get to the final 27 chapters of Isaiah, it's just like the 27 chapters, the 27 books in the New Testament. It offers deliverance and it offers hope and it offers victory and a change that God's going to bring about deliverance and a hope and a change. 66 chapters. 
lined up just like the 66 books in the Bible. These 40, this chapter 43 talks about hope and promise. But guess what? I want to spend just a moment talking about chapter 54. Because in chapter 54, God says some prevailing things. And that's what I want to talk about tonight, chapter 54. Because God says to them, I love this right here. It, it, it's, it's, it's talking and warning and giving them hope for their future. And I thought what I needed to talk to you about tonight as we prepare to go into 2022 is to let you know that I know it's been difficult and I know that the last year has been challenging and troublesome and painful and difficult, but I got hope for you. God has hope for us. He has a promise for us and he wants me to drop this word to you and I want to give it to you very quickly. And I want to, I want to take a look at this 54th chapter because God is trying to give us some, some, some wise warnings and some wise insight. And I love that. So turn your Bibles to chapter 54 for just a moment. I'm going to talk about this for just a moment. But I, I, I need to tell you as I'm entering into this that he's, he's giving them some information about ch challenges and about defeats and, and, and uh, 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 of keeping them from being frustrated and defeated. And I, and, I, and, I, and I thought to myself when I read this passage, what leaped off the pages to me is that here is God speaking to the people of Judah through the prophet Isaiah to let them know that even though their past has been difficult, there is hope and deliverance for their future. There's going to be a change. There's going to be something different. And, and, I, and, and this was interesting to me because I am a history addict. I love history. I could watch the History Channel all day. Y'all know there's a history channel called the American, his, the American History Channel, AHC. I love it. I could watch it all day. I could watch historical documentaries all day, especially I'm intrigued by wars. I'm intrigued by World War, War, World War I and World War II. I'm intrigued by it when I watch the history. I'm intrigued and I'm amazed to see the, trans, the transgression and the development of how war went from one level and one degree to another. I'm intrigued by the fact that I've, uh, uh, I've watched historically how weapons are developed, how weapons are brought about, the early weaponry of guns uh, that they had in World War I and how uh, the introduction of the tanks came into being in World War I, and they were monstrosities and slow and easily defeated, these big old tanks that brought, scare, brought fear into the hearts of the enemy, but yet they were easily slowed down and defeated and, 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 and conquered, but they developed the, 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 the pageantry and the strength and the speed and the ability of the tanks to, to overcome what it once couldn't overcome developed over time. I, I, I'm amazed by that as I watched. I watched planes that when I look at the old World War I planes and how those planes, uh, they used to have to take bombs and the pilot would hold the bomb in his hand and le lean over and drop it out of his hand. How it is transitioned from biplanes and, and triplanes and moved to these planes now that fly with uh, uh, supersonic missiles and submarines and missiles that are guided by computer chips and GPS to, to go to specific places and locations. How they design all of these weapons for the express purpose of defeating the enemy. That's what amazed me, that these weapons were designed to kill human beings. And I thought to myself that mankind could come up with this mindset and God had to remind me that it's the same way in the spirit realm. The enemy is after your defeat. The enemy is after your destruction. And while Judah found itself facing the weaponry of its day, God wanted me to remind you for you to recognize that there's some weapons that are formed against you right now, today, trying to defeat you and conquer you. They're weapons that the enemy has designed to conquer you and defeat you. And God wants me to let you know and speak to you and challenge you to understand that the weapons are aimed at you, but you need to recognize and understand the weapons are aimed at you, but you don't have to lose. You don't have to be defeated. Why? 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 Here's the deal. The deal is 
the weapons, you have these weapons aimed at you. We have weapons aimed at us. And the reason the enemy has aimed weapons against you is because you represent a threat to his kingdom. That devil knows that if you ever get to your destiny, that devil knows if you ever become what God has designed for you to become and do what God has designed for you to do, the devil knows that he will lose. And I'm trying to tell somebody today, don't lose heart, don't quit, don't walk away, don't get frustrated, don't, get, don't be conquered, don't allow the enemy just because he aims his weapons against you, don't think that you will be conquered. You're more than conquerors. The devil's weapons, he's aimed his weapons at you. As a matter of fact, just like the World War I and World War II, they they created weapons to defeat their enemies. The devil has created some weapons to defeat you. And he's coming up with some every day. We, we had COVID, then it's COVID Delta, and now it's COVID. What's it called? What's this new thing called? Whatever it's called. I can't even remember the name of it. What's it called? Omicron. Yeah, Omicron. Thank you very much. Omicron. He's forming these weapons against you. Yes, they're aimed against you. Why? Because you represent a threat against you. Why? Because when you get into your destiny and walk into what God has called you to walk in and become what God has called you to become and live the way God wants you to live, the devil doesn't have a chance to win. He wants to conquer you. He's aimed at you. His weapons against you. But guess what? Those weapons cannot prosper. And here's what, here, here, here's, here's what Isaiah 54 says. Here, here's, here's, here's what Isaiah 54 says. Listen, I want to shout. It says this. Behold, here's what God says. I have created the blacksmith who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth, this is verse 16, who brings forth an instrument for his work. Let me, get, let me read that to y'all again. Y'all missed a great spot to shout in a minute. God says, behold, I have created the blacksmith who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work. I want to shout right there. I want to give God a great praise. And because here's why, because the devil, here's what God says, I created the person who created the weapons to try to defeat you. God says, I created them. I created the blacksmith. I, the people and the enemy who are creating the weapons to defeat you, God said, I made them. I created them. He says, the one who's blowing the coals in the fire, who's bringing forth an instrument for the enemy's work, God says, I created them. And I created, here's what verse 16 says, and I have created the spoiler to destroy. I made them. God says, I created them. And then he says this in verse 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you today. No matter what the enemy forms against you, no matter what he does or what he creates, he's going to lose. Because I've made you to be more than a conqueror. That's, I, I'm just trying to tell you, don't be afraid. You, you have no reason to fear. Have no reason to be conquered. No reason to be defeated. No reason to be scourged. Stop being scourged. Stop being afraid. Because God says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hold up. I got a shout right here. It says, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Here's, here's why you're going to win. Because you are a servant of the Most High God. You are a servant of the Lord. And guess what? Hold up. I, I got a shout right here. John Jenkins, uh, Charles Jenkins, y'all get ready to come back up here to sing again. C come on back up here just a second because we're going to go into 2022 recognizing that we are more than conquerors. Recognizing that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Here's what it says. You shall condemn those whose, whose voices rise up against you. Why? Because you are the heritage. This is the heritage. Because you are servants of the Lord. And guess what? And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Oh, there's another place to shout right there. God says, you're going to be a winner and a conqueror, not because, not because.
because of your righteousness. But verse number 17 says, their righteousness is from me, God says. You're going to be a winner because of the righteousness that I have. Here's where I'm shouting right here. I'm shouting because it ain't best. It ain't based on your righteousness. You jacked up. You messed up. You tore up from the floor up. You were defeated. But guess what? We are able to be a winner because of the righteousness of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He lives inside of us. He reigns inside of us. We are more than conquerors. He is our Lord and our Master. He is the one that makes us a winner and not a loser. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Stop being afraid. Stop being nervous. Stop being claiming defeat. You are more than a conqueror. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. What am I trying to tell you? We're more than conquerors. Lift up your head. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Y'all, I'm trying to get this word across to everybody. I'm trying to get them to understand something. I'm trying to get the, sa the saints to understand we're we in, we in a battle and we're in a war and we're going to win. Somebody look at you. Look at your neighbor and say, we're going to win. Look at your neighbor on the other side and say, we're going to win. Tell them you're going to win. You're a servant of the most high God. When you surrender to Jesus, you are more than a conqueror. I wish I had an amen. Where's the time? Where's the time at? Where's the time at? Where's the Oh, we got 16 seconds. Here we go. We're about to win. We, we're about to win. We're about to be more than a conqueror. We, we're about to be more than, more than a winner. More than a winner. More than a winner. Three, two, and one. Happy New Year. I'm more than a conqueror. Tell yourself, I'm more than a conqueror. We are more than a conqueror. We shall win. Happy, happy new year. Happy new year. At your house, wherever 
before we close out if you if you listen this i wish you could have been in this building i wish you could have felt i hope you can feel the presence of god the worship of us giving god the glory we ain't giving up we're not quitting COVID need to know we we the church ain't going out of business we ain't closing our doors we're not defeated no weapon formed against us shall prosper we're servants of the most high god we are his children, his sons. We're his daughters. And no weapon, no weapon. Nothing that the devil can aim. And he's forming things. He's forming things against us. And nothing, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That means you too. And maybe there's somebody watching tonight. I know we shouted and danced and shouted and danced and sang, but maybe you need Jesus. There's a phone number that's about to pop up on the screen. There's an email. There's a button to click where you can get, you can get your life straight with Christ. I want to invite you to go ahead and call that number. I want to invite you to click that link. I want to invite you to send that email. What better way to start 2022 than with Christ? If you're backslidden, you can rededicate yourself to God tonight. Right now, you can rededicate yourself. If you're not sure of your eternal destiny, we can help you get the eternal destiny straight right now. Jesus Christ died on the cross so you could have a personal relationship with the eternal God. He died on the cross so you could have life. You can go ahead and make that call. Send that email. Click that link. If you don't have a church home, we'd love for you to be a member of our church. We would love for you to be a part, no matter where you are in the world, in the country, in the world, you can be a part of First Baptist Church of Glen Arden. Click that link. 
Make that call in Jesus' name. All right? Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you have a great day. We look to see you next time. Good night. Church of Glen Arden are hosting a fast as we begin the year 2022. This 21 day fast is an opportunity to get closer to God by spending more time with Him and in His Word as we start the new year. For more information about the fast, men can visit fbcglenarden.org forward slash men's fast, and ladies can visit fbcglenarden.org forward slash women's fast. Join First Baptist Church of Glen Arden and Greater Mount Calvary Holy Church virtually Wednesday, January 5th through Saturday, January 8th for Joint New Year's Revival 2022. Be empowered and equipped in the new year by powerful speakers, Pastor Reginald Wayne Sharp Jr., Bishop Rudolph McKissick Jr., and Bishop T.D. Jakes, and guest artist C.C. Winans, Pastor Mike Jr., and Kevin Lemons in Higher Calling. All services will begin at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then on Saturday, January 8th at 10 a.m., hear from Bishop T.D. Jakes for a training session for all leaders and aspiring leaders. You don't want to miss it. For more information, you can visit jointrevival.org. That's the news for this week. You can find more details about these events and others on our church website at fbcglenarden.org. Welcome back, family. Listen, no weapon, not one shall, shall prosper. Oh my gosh, Pastor, thank you so much for such a phenomenal word. Happy New Year to you guys. I haven't seen you since last year. Happy New Year to you. Welcome back. And I am joined by the one and the only Pastor Charles Jenkins. Hello, sir. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, gee, we made it, huh? Huh? We made it. Woo. We made it. We made it. To a brand new year. A brand new year. And I'm so excited and I'm just super amped to kick it off with you, sir. Thanks so much for hanging out with us tonight. So so we know you as an artist, but you were also the pastor of Fellowship Chicago. And since then, you've retired. So tell us about post-pastor life. Well, first of all, let me say how excited I am to be here <laughs> and um, how excited I am to see another year. And uh, I had the privilege to pastor the most amazing place for 20 years in Chicago. Wow. I was on the team a total of 23 years. And God placed it on my heart that I had done everything I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes people aggressively can identify starters blocks, mm -hmm. can aggressively identify callings mm -hmm. to start. But most people or lots of people can't find finish lines. Mm, that's good. And so I think it's important to know. I wrote a book about it. It's called Seasons. And the premise is all of our lives are framed in scenes and segments of time. One big timeline broken up into several different time periods. And in all of those time periods, you got to know several key things. you got to know how to hear from God. You got to know how to discover your purpose. you got to know what your calling is. you got to know the difference between calling and purpose. Um, and I describe it very simply. Calling is when God invites you to be somewhere. Mm. Purpose is the thing he has invited you to do. Mm, so Say very that again. simple. Say that again. That was real, real good. Somebody writing that down right now. They're trying to get it tatted. That calling was real, real good. is the Say invitation. Yes. Being invited. Purpose is the assignment, the obligation, the responsibility, mm. the opportunity. I said this way really simply. My, my mother used to say, Chuck, that's the calling. She was mm -hmm. calling me. Get in here and clean your room. <laughs> That's what she wants. That's the assignment. That was my purpose. <laughs> so, so you got to know how to discover your purpose. You got to know what your calling is. You got to know what season of life you're in. Mm -hmm. So you know what you are doing, but you also know what you're not doing. Uh, we all have to-do lists, but we also need a stop-doing list. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And, and, and sometimes you're in, if you don't know what season you're in, you don't know how to think, what to expect, how to, you know, because sometimes you're in a planting season mm. 
and you can't expect to harvest if you're in a planting season. That's good. And you can get frustrated and, and you can misunderstand where you are and what you should be doing if you don't know where you are. And so I list all the different kinds of seasons. And The book is available at charlesjenkins.com, but I just kind of break down how to reinvent yourself because mm. this pandemic, yeah. Yeah. lots of people, you got to pivot and sometimes you got to be a transformer and have the ability to turn into something you never knew you could turn into. Wow. And so That's this bad. season is challenging so many people because... You know, you think you must be who you've always been. been. Mm. And sometimes yes. you have to become something Yikes. you've never been before to be relevant Ooh. for yourself. That's good. In peace and in purpose. Mm. And if you're not relevant for yourself, you can't be relevant for anybody else. Ooh. And so, you yes. know, from a practical standpoint, I kind of help people navigate different seasons. How do you navigate transition? And so that's what I've been doing. God, God, um, my time was up there and and the favorite question that everybody asks me is do you think you'll pastor again mm -hmm. and we live in LA I've been offered to start a church 19 mm -hmm. times what? in LA <laughs> um, I don't know what else God has mm -hmm. planned for me because sometimes as pastor uh, taught us in Isaiah 43 19 it says behold I'll do a new thing and it'll spring forth shall you not know it like god will do some stuff that you were never anticipating never moses never wanted to lead no nation he was a fugitive <laughs> on the run he had just killed the brother he what? was on cops okay. bad boy bad boy i what mean you what gonna you gonna do, do? okay listen, listen god was like it was an ordinary day mm. and he's walking down the street and he has an epiphany theophany moment and god says go tell my people uh go Tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Moses like, me? You don't want you don't, me. You don't want me. You, you must ain't seen my, 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 my rap sheet. That is so you know? good. But sometimes God's got stuff for you that you don't have for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, I'm, I'm executive producing five movies. Wow. Um, one of them is a film with Universal Pictures, and you'll see it. And another one is a biopic on an iconic figure in the culture. Ooh. And... Uh, I'm doing a gangster flick on a gentleman who was one of the founders of the Vice Lords, one of the no most oh, notorious wow. gangs in the city of Chicago. He was sitting on death row for killing the warden. Mm. And some kind of way he got off, changed his life, transformed his life. And, and um, I, I, I won't ruin the story, but it's going to be a blockbuster film. And so I'm doing that. Um, my ultimate goal is to make family-friendly content. Mm. Uh, I feel like of the largest microphones in our culture are film, mm -hmm. television, and the internet. I feel like the local church is the tool that God uses to touch the world according to Ephesians 3. But people spend more time watching TV and watching film uh, mm. than they do sitting in church. Wow. And so I feel like we've got to enlarge our microphones and, and multiply them so we can speak to people not just on Sunday, but mm -hmm. all week long, in the house, in the gym, in their car. Um, and so I have a fashion company, a line that oh, drops man. next year. Uh, and so that's very exciting. And so I got mean, tons of stuff. I mean, booked and busy. I love it. I love it. So, so if, it, people who are watching virtually, I don't know if y'all was over there shouting the way we was in here shouting, but please know that we don't walked in 2022 with our fitness goals. Okay. Because we was in here just, to, <laughs> just a shouting. So if you were shouting, you already burned some calories in the new year. Look at you with your resolutions. We see you. We love it. So we are obsessed with your music. We love it so much. Sing it inside and out. Are you putting forth any music in 2022? I'm going to drop a new EP in the first quarter. I've written a bunch of stuff. Nice. And uh, I'm going to... some stuff. Uh, January is the 10th anniversary of me releasing the My God is Awesome wow. record. And, and I gave it away for free. <laughs> um, and so, uh, and also it's the 10th year anniversary of me releasing my first album. So I'm going to do a big 10th year anniversary celebration wow. in Chicago uh, with a live orchestra. And I'm going to invite some of my friends. And I hope some of my friends will come. And it's going to be a massive celebration. I'm, right now I'm trying to figure out which orchestra hall or 
if there's a church that can hold it, we're going to do a massive celebration Listen, it may be a Glen Arden field trip. We may be there. Listen. Listen. Go ahead don't start. There won't be nothing. Section. Listen. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm going to put out a bunch of music next year. A bunch oh, of music. Oh, we can't wait. Oh, yeah. we can't wait. So tell us, what are some things that you are expecting and believing God for this year? This brand spanking new year. Is there something in particular that you're believing God for? You know what? Um... New territory, new accomplishments, new victories. I'm, I'm expecting God to bless the work of my hands. Uh, I've been in a planning season. We've been working on some stuff. And so, like I mentioned about the movies, um, it started in the pandemic. And so, as Pastor was saying with the word tonight, that, you know, it was a lot of closed doors, but it was also a lot of open doors. Yeah. And while God made ways, he sustained over here. And so, three of the movies I've been working on will shoot next year. And so I'm exciting, excited to see the seeds that were planted propagate, germinate, and bring forth Come much fruit. Oh, and man. so I've had a lot of seeds that I've been nurturing, and so they're going to spring forth next year. And so I'm really excited about that. We are excited for you. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with us tonight. Drop your website again for us so that you can go out and get seasons and be on the lookout for everything that you've got coming in 2022. My website's charlesjenkins.com. You can get the book there. I'm related to send you a copy. And then Instagram, Charles Jenkins. Facebook, Charles Jenkins Music. Ride with me. Ride with him. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, sir. We are incredibly grateful for you hanging out with us tonight. FBCG, we love you. We thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Take care, be safe, and Happy New Year to you. See thank you, you Uncle John, Auntie Trina. <laughs>